Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to tell you guys about Track Titan and show you how to use it. I'm currently exploring GT and LMP cars and learning how to drive them. There are lots of skills that are transferable from F1 cars, but there's still stuff I haven't learned yet, like the best line to take in order to carry the most momentum, and especially the ABS and traction control that F1 cars don't have. This is where Track Titan comes in. Track Titan is a free to use data analysis website where you can find time with easy to use and understand graphs and charts. On average, people find over half a second on their first time using it. This video is not sponsored by Track Titan. The first thing you need to do is make an account. You can make a free account or you can pay for extra features. Use the code in the description or the pinned comment to get one month free of plus. I'm using the plus membership and I'll tell you how I got it in a future video, so make sure to like and subscribe. In this video, I use the plus membership features like focus zone and quick tips. After creating your account, download the app and log in. Once you've done that, you can start to set up your game. There are clear instructions telling you how to set it up, but I'm going to tell you guys how to now. To set up F123, turn UPD broadcast mode to on, and for iRacing, Asado Corsa and ACC on PC, select PC and then this PC if it's the computer you're using to play. If it's not, then select another PC and enter the PC's IP address. Now you've got your game set up, you need to do some laps. Load into your sim and do around 5 laps. You don't have to do 5 laps, you can do more or less, but for the purpose of this video I'm doing 5. Try to make them fast but consistent, so you know you can do them lots of times without spinning. Because if you can't, when you try to do what Track Titan suggests, you will go off the track or spin. After your session, quit the game and go to the Track Titan website. All the links are in the description. Now, go to the session and click on the most recent one. Now let's take a look around. On the left, you can see the lap you want to analyse. Track Titan will automatically choose the fastest lap, so don't change the lap right now. You can also select the leaderboards and see a nice graph showing you the lap times that you did in the session. On the bottom right, you have the segment selector. Track Titan splits up the track into lots of segments, so it's easier to analyse one corner of street. On the top right, you have the track map. Here, you can see where you're losing time to the reference lap or a lap time that you've chosen from the leaderboard. On the track map, above the turns and straights, there is a green or red circle. Each one is numbered because that's the segment number. If the circle is red, it means you are losing time there. And if it is green, it means you are faster there. The red and green circles also have numbers next to them. For example, it might say plus 0 0.100. That means you are one tenth slower in that segment. But if it says minus 0 0.100, it means you are faster in that segment. One of the segments should be pulsing red. This is the segment that you are losing the most time in. Select that one. You should see some graphs and driving tips if you're a plus member. On the top left, you can see the track map again, but it only shows the segment that you have selected. You will now see two lines on there as well, one orange and one blue. Unless you have selected somebody else's lap time from the leaderboard and then added yourself after. You will be the orange line and the reference lap or the leaderboard lap will be blue. On the bottom left, you have another graph which shows you your throttle and brake percentages, the difference to the reference lap, and your speed in much more detail. But I'll explain about that a bit more in a minute. On the middle right, you can see the throttle, brake, and steering inputs. On the bottom right, you can see the segment you're looking at and change the one you're looking at. Now, if it's not selected already, click on driving tips. You should be able to see a few things that it recommends. For example, it could say, you broke too late, Break earlier to improve your minimum corner and exit speed. That is usually followed by, you reach your minimum corner speed too late. So now you have something to go and try. Go back into the sim and do another session, and see if you improve. If you try hard enough, you should be able to beat your PB. Quit, and go back to TT. Now do the same again on the segment you're losing the most time, and try again using what it tells you, and you should keep improving. Sometimes it will say you are losing the most time on corner entry or exit or whatever. Look at what you're doing differently. This is where the graph comes in handy. On the graph, there are a few things that you can look at. You can see the speed, 
difference to the reference lap, and throttle and brake inputs. If it says we're losing the most time on corner exit, let's look at the throttle graph. On this graph, it shows the percentage of the throttle you are doing. Because it's just the throttle input, it doesn't show you the brake input as well. So when you see the graph shoot down to 0%, that should be where you're braking. Now look at the place it starts to rise again. This is where you're getting back on the power. Look at where you're getting back on the power and look at where the reference lap is getting back on it. Are they getting on it earlier, later, at the same time? Look at this for braking as well and see if they're braking earlier or later. If they're doing the same as you, look at the lines they are both taking and see if they're different. Make sure to look out for the little things as well, like if they're lifting off the throttle quicker than you, or if they're pressing the brake faster than you. Keep looking at all of these things and then go back into the sim and see what you need to do while looking at the data and see if you can go faster. If not, keep going over it until you find something and go faster, and then repeat this whole process again. It may seem like a lot of work, but it's actually pretty quick and easy when you get the hang of it, and you will see improvements much quicker than without it. One thing I wish it had though, was a video of the lap like RaceNet, where you can watch the lap in real time. Because that also really helps, and sometimes I prefer watching the lap in real time. For those of you who do not know what RaceNet is, RaceNet is a free to use data analysis website like Track Titan. You can watch the lap in real time, compare your laps with the times in the actual F1 games leaderboard, and look at the data like Track Titan. So if you have to pay for the quick tips and focus zone, then why pay if there is a free one out there that does the same thing as a free Track Titan membership? Well, Track Titan is much better laid out, and it makes it much easier to read. The segments also really help because it's much easier to focus on one place, and TT does the Assetto Corsa, ACC and iRacing instead of just EA games. Personally, I think it's worth paying for the Quick Tips feature because in the short time I've been using it, I've already found half a second. Thanks for watching, I hope this video helped you out. These videos take a long time to make, so donating to my channel would really help me out, and all the money goes into my racing career. If you want to have one month of plus free, then use the code in the pinned comment on description. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.